Okay, welcome to Bolt Action CP Battle Report number three. This time we're doing a continuation of a campaign that we started last week down at the shop. Um, scenario is, this is 1943 Sicily. The Allies have pushed into the edge of this town and the Axis are trying to stop their advance. So what we have here is the road is the halfway point and pretty much the road is the objective. The, al ac the allies are starting on this side, Axis are starting over there. So the Axis will get to deploy a quarter of their force in between those two dice and a quarter of their force behind and the rest are coming in on reserves. Allies are doing a first wave and there is a preparatory bombardment. So go over the forces real quick. It's a thousand points each four by four board. Of course, it's a smaller board for a lot of points. So the Allies side, we have a veteran officer, two squads of veterans, all rifles. They have two BARs each, tough fighters. Have a squad of regular engineers. They have a flamethrower, a BAR, two submachine guns. Have a 50 cal regular, Bazooka regular, Jeep regular, one truck with a medium machine gun, and a regular Sherman with a medium machine gun on top. Also, since the Allies won the last battle, they have an extra 50 points, and I used the 50 points on the light howitzer. So that's the American forces who are the Allies in this. On this side, we have the Russians, who are being the Axis in this, uh, in this scenario. We're saying that they've been pressed into service by the Germans and flown to Sicily. So Steve, why don't you go ahead and go over real quick what you got. Just got a medium machine gun, flamethrower squad, two guard squads, a mix of submachine guns, rifles, light machine gun, Panzer Faust. Uh, we've got two LMG squads, also a mix. We've got the Junior officer, junior, junior lieutenant. Who happens to be a German, since he's in charge of these guys, as long as they don't shoot him, I guess. Got a medium mortar. Okay. We've got a sniper, free 12 man team, and three trucks with uh, medium machine guns. Okay, and they're all regular? Except all for the. All regular, except the uh, officer. And the inexperienced squad. And the inexperienced Okay, so we will have. Steve, go ahead and deploy his troops, and the Americans will be coming on in first wave. So we'll see you on the next turn. Okay, so Steve has finished deploying his forces. So he's got a sniper, and you got something inside that building there? So medium machine gun. Okay. Free 12 man inexperienced squad, junior lieutenant, guard squad. Another guard squad in the trees, a medium mortar, and the mortar spotter. Okay. And the objectives are the two in the road. The radio station. And the radio guy. And, uh, and there's a German command team back there. So those are the two backline objectives. So we're going to go ahead and do the prep bombardment right now. So let's see what happens. All right. So the preparatory bombardment comes in. So let's go ahead and roll for each unit. Go ahead and point them out. Mortar. Miss. Guard squad. So that's uh, two pins. Sniper. Sniper. Two pins. Medium machine gun. One pin. Free 12 man squad. That's uh, one pin, I believe. Yeah, one pin. Junior Lieutenant. That's uh, one pin. Guard squad. That's two pins. And that's it. That's it, really. Okay, so prep bombardment's over. And now we will begin turn one. The Americans will come in. First wave will be these guys on here. And in reserve will be all these guys over here. So 
Steve has all these guys coming in turn two. There's no need to roll um, morale or a leadership check to come in reserve in this scenario. So we'll come back at the end of turn one. Okay, so turn one is now over. Not a lot happened in this turn, just some movement. The Americans brought on the Sherman. He fired at those guys who ran up from back there and missed. Both squads of veterans and the lieutenant all ran. This one ran on, these guys advanced, but we're out of range of those guys who are hidden anyway, so they can't do anything. The Air Force observer came on into these woods trying to get away from that sniper who's there. The uh, sniper was pinned, he didn't do anything because he didn't pass his order. Those guys didn't pass their order. The mortar did take a shot at the forward observer and missed. So they have a decision to make on the next turn. Um, either call in the uh, airstrike or get out of the way. Uh, that's, like I said, that's about it. Nothing much happened. The uh, machine gun in the building went on ambush. The inexperienced squad went on ambush. Sniper failed his order. Those guys failed their order. These guys moved up to the wall. Where'd your off oh, your officer went inside that building. So, And that was it for turn one. So now we will go on to turn two and the reserves can now come in with no leadership check. So it should start getting a little bit more exciting here on turn two. Okay, so here we are at the end of turn two. Some uh, crazy things happened. The very first die of the game, the mortar pulled, and he fired and needed a five and killed the FO. So the air observer is now dead, and a good portion of the American's firepower is now gone. I was kind of counting on that guy to at least put some pins out there, if not kill a squad or two. So two airstrikes, that won't be coming in now. Now uh, over here, the vet squad on the right took a couple pins from the MMGs on those trucks. They tried to do a run order and failed. So they're just down there. That vet squad jumped the fence and the officer went with them. <clears throat> over here, the uh, that squad jumped out of the truck on the right and the that's the truck there took a pin and the flamethrower just kind of stayed in there he's got a pin on him the sherman stayed stayed put and fired on that squad with everything the main gun and the two machine guns killed three of them put a pin on them over here same old story snipers failed the order those guys failed the order these guys are in ambush they didn't actually do anything, so they're just waiting. Uh, my 50 caliber came in. Jeep with the bazooka ran up there, hid behind the building. Light howitzer came in. Didn't do anything. They're just getting ready for this turn. Um, another truck with a, yet another squad of Russians came in. They ran out, got in that building at the lieutenant. And that was about it for this turn. So I lost the FO which is not good for the Americans and I got a lot of Russian infantry a lot of it I got two squads what do you have five squads five squads so two versus five well three if you count the engineers but they decided to go down over there and have and they're gonna try to wait so anyway that's it for turn two and we'll move on to turn three Okay, so here we are at the end of turn three. This is the board. In this turn, the main thing pretty much that happened was this Sherman unloaded on that transport there, destroyed it, and the flamethrower team that was inside died in the fire. Uh, over here, that squad fired on the squad that was there, which is now there. Luckily, they got uh, 
they were able to pass their uh, test and run behind the building. The other squad and the lieutenant ran into the building. Uh, the 50 cal fired on those guys and missed. The Russian mortar decided to fire on the howitzer that had come in last turn, missed, and the mortar decided to move up, get out of harm's way. The uh, MMG and those conscripts are still in ambush, haven't done anything. Inside this building, there's a squad and a lieutenant. They didn't do anything, this went down. Over here, the uh, failed orders continued. He failed again. This squad failed, actually foobarred, but uh, they rolled a two and they were sh there was no enemy within 12 inches, so they didn't do anything but go down. I kind of wanted them to roll higher, they would have ran backwards. So they actually got lucky on that. Um, that truck drove up there. And that was about it. Uh, oh, the bazooka is just hiding behind the building here with the Jeep. So in reserve, I still have the engineer squad and the truck. And all the Russians are now on the board. So that'll do it for turn three. And we will be back at the end of turn four. All right, turn four is over. Here's what the board looks like right now. In this turn, the uh, squad that was inside there, the Russians jumped in that truck. That squad jumped in the truck. And after that, I started shooting at the trucks. The tank fired everything at that truck and missed. So that was the first whiff of the game for the tank. Two machine guns and a main gun missed. But luckily this 50 caliber was here and he fired and destroyed the truck with the guys in it. Uh, D6 wounds only had, I rolled a one, so they didn't lose anyone, but they were out of the truck and with a pin. Uh, these guys failed their order. They're still just kind of hugging the wall there. Over here, the two American vet squads, this squad failed their order. So they're just hiding behind the building. In here, I have a 10-man squad, two BARs, fired at that squad. Got one hit and did no damage. So that was a big whiff. The officers shot at them too and missed with their SMGs. Over here, the howitzer took a direct fire shot at uh, those guys there and missed. Bazooka and Jeep are just kind of hiding out behind the wall here waiting for something um, Over here These guys finally in pin they've been both these squads have been pinned down for four four turns now But they finally unpinned the sniper was able to take a shot and Put a pin on the squad inside there The other squad just advanced into the fire farther up into the woods and the mortar squad fired at the squad inside on the left the big squad and missed but they're now ranging in so that was it for turn four and we'll be back on turn five All right, so here we are at the end of turn five. Um, the Americans realized once again, a little too late that the game was gonna end soon and they had to actually claim objectives. So what happened was there was a squad there, the Russian squad originally. That squad, what's left of it, was in here. They assaulted and wiped them out. But the squad that was in that truck drove up unloaded on him didn't someone else unload on him or the officer and his two guys in the building unloaded on him so in the end there's three guys left full squad of russians the squad that was hiding in the back here moved into there we still got one pin the officer is still there the sherman used the uh road rule 
and was able to advance 18 inches, get within point blank and unload it on that squad. Hit him with the howitzer, or I mean hit him with the D6 cannon. All the machine guns wound up killing like, what, six of them? So he put a pretty good hurting on them, but they're still there. They passed their uh, morale check. I uh, decided finally to bring in the engineers. I was going to try to use the road again and advance 24 up to there, get the flamethrower out, and wipe that, pretty much wipe that inexperienced squad out. But the medium machine gun, Russian medium machine gun in this building here, has been on ambush the entire game, hasn't fired a shot until now. And then he sprung his ambush about right there. Wound up killing the truck. The guys got out. They didn't take any casualties, but they were forced to disembark. Took a down rotor and took some fire from the sniper. And I think that inexperienced squad shot at him, put a pin on him. So they got two pins on him now. Now the 50 cal shot at the inexperienced squad and missed. The bazooka guy got in the Jeep. They're just chilling out back here. Uh, over here, these guys failed their order. But the fourth time in five turns so they're not doing too hot but they still got a chance to get to the objective Show preparatory bombardment. Prep bombard <laughs> preparatory bombardment did that the mortar fired at the engineer squad missed but he's down to five on his uh, hit for the indirect and that was about it so we're on the last turn of the game here turn six um, it's not really looking good for the Americans. I might be able to clear that squad out and claim this one. And maybe if I'm lucky, can test that one. But as far as getting any of the back two, I don't see it happening. Um, I don't think I can contest or anything with a vehicle. So losing my truck hurt. I needed that. Um, anyway, that's it for turn five. So we'll see if the Americans can at least advance up to the road and hopefully at least do something with this first line of objectives but the back two I think are going to be a hard hard to reach so anyway we'll be on to turn six. All right here we go end of turn six game over. So knowing that they had no chance to win because they waited too long to make their move. The Americans decided to uh, at least try to secure this one. So we wiped out that squad. The, the three-man squad that was there assaulted, defeated them. They were down to one guy, and he's still there. The officer ran out. There he is. The squad that was in here came out just for the hell of it, shot at them, and killed them. They had one guy left, failed their order. Um, the tank earlier in the turn shot at those guys there and did a couple of uh, things but didn't really have much effect these guys never got to move the engineers uh, I was kind of banking my whole game on them clearing out the middle but uh, they took yet another pin from those guys I think even another pin from the machine guns and maybe another one from the uh, sniper so once that truck got destroyed, that was it for uh, the engineer squad. The Russian mortar fired and missed again. Uh, the 50 caliber fired at this squad over here and missed. So in the end, the very last couple dice, I had this Jeep back here with the bazooka in it. Uh, the last two dice of the game. He ran these guys up earlier, and then at the very end, the bazooka drove up, and the bazooka, uh, the jeep drove up, and the bazooka got out. So I don't know if that's techni technically contesting or what's the story with us. I'll have to find that out. But uh, in the end, the allies hold one of the first objectives, contesting the other one, and got nowhere close to the back two. So. I don't know what to call this yet. I'll have to talk to Anthony, the guy who made the um, scenario, and see what happens with the contested because it doesn't say anything about that in the uh, scenario. So, anyway, Steve, what do you think? Who was your best unit? The best unit today was the uh, the mortar. Everyone else couldn't pass an order. 
they sat there like a bunch of impotent fools and uh, wild their time away. Okay, and then Mortar did... Killed the air observer. Yes. De decisively. He wiped the air observer out in turn two, and who knows what would have happened if the air observer was able to call in both of his airstrikes. This could have been a totally different game, so... That was probably the decisive moment in this game. Um, the Americans, the uh, MVP for for the Americans was the Sherman. He did a lot of damage in this game. I found out after reading the rules after he did his last turn that he could have contested or claimed an objective. Everything but a non, every non transport vehicle could uh, claim or contest. So instead of shooting, I should have drove him right through there and parked right by that objective but i didn't find that out till after i didn't read through the whole thing so that's my fault um anyway it was a good game we're saying uh axis victory minor victory i think because i do hold one of the objectives so it's still a victory um so overall i think the other two games in the campaign that they played at the store was uh one one major victory per axis and one for allies. So this is kind of the one to swing the uh, the final vote and I guess it goes to axis minor victory. So uh, That'll do it uh, game over axis minor victory